Hi, I'm Thomas. With, I'm in a community manager with SafeGraph and PlaceKey. And I'm going to briefly walk through address matching without a geocoder. So a common process in ge geographic analysis is geocoding. Geocoding involves matching locations with specific location information, such as latitude and longitude. One of the most common methods is to use ArcGIS Pro which offers spatial joins and charges for geocoding addresses. Another option that solves this problem is the new place key option. Place key creates a universal identifier for any physical space and it keeps that fixed throughout time, which makes it possible uh, not only to geographically match locations based on an attribute, uh, but it makes it possible to do time series analysis on a specific location by creating a fixed identifier. This place key All right, so the first thing to do is to go to place key. All right, so the first thing to do is to go to from there you can create a place key account. And from there you can create a place key account. Uh, and place key be API. Given a free this place key API uh, place will come key in API. handy. This place key API the, will come in handy. Uh, toolbox when using add in the for ArcGIS. Toolbox program. add in for ArcGIS. All right. So the first step after getting a all right. So the first step account after getting, getting a, a place key place API key is to download the and place, place key toolbox key for API ArcGIS. Is to download the place key and toolbox it's here in the document. There's and it's a here, here in the document. Uh, so I'll go there. There's a link here to it. And then I'll go there. Right here, I'm going and to... Then to right here, I'm going down to... Um, go down. Uh, that is going to be fixed. Uh, the, that is going to be fixed. Uh, the, all right, for the ArcGIS uh, place key. So come to GitHub. And I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to click code, and I'm going to download the zip. And then I will go to that location, and I'm going to unzip it. So I'll click extract all. Uh, if you don't have a Windows computer, uh, one uh, good option is to use 7-zip, and that will do the unzipping for you. So from here, if you open up, you'll notice that I have this uh, different placekey.pyt files. So we're going to use those in ArcGIS Pro. All right, so the next step is to open ArcGIS Pro. Let me go back to my notes here. All right, so downloaded. The next step right here is to add the place key toolbox to ArcGIS Pro. So I'm going to go to ArcGIS Pro and I'm going to uh, just a minute here, I'm going to click on insert toolbox. I'm going to add a new toolbox and then from here, here it is, place key.pyt. I'm going to click add it Then I'll click OK, and it'll show up in here. All right, so now I'll generate place keys with, uh, with a data set. So over here, I have the toolbox, the place key toolbox. I'll click there. Uh, take a minute, and then I have a small data set here. Just has, I'll show you. It's uh, three locations. It's in the same mall in downtown Salt Lake City, the City Creek Mall. All right, so we'll see if PlaceKey will be able to give me different identifiers for three places with the same address. All right, so the input features. Let's see. All right, so here I'm going to bring in my PlaceKey. Data set as an example. Click there, add that table. 
And then the place key toolbox will ask if I want to use the geometry for the where part or attributes. And the one of the unique parts of the SafeGree toolbox is that it, you can use attributes to do the matching. So I'm going to click use the attribute. The location name, I'm going to use location. My address field is going to be my address. My city is going to be city. Postal code is going to be my zip. My region is going to be state. And then I do not have an ISO country field. Safe key will figure that out. And I'm going to call this uh, three. So now I'll run it. It takes a minute. And, oh, I need to add my API key. Just a moment. So I needed to go get my API key. I went to placekey.io and I logged in and here's my place key. So I'm gonna copy, my, this is my place key API. Copy that. Come back here and I'm gonna change my API. So I'll come in here and I'll paste it there. All right, and then I'm gonna run that. That worked. All right, so my API is good. Uh, now I'm gonna get my POIs. Uh, there we go, I'll get my data set. I'm going to use the attribute part and then my location name is going to be location, address field is going to be address, my city is going to be city, then zip for postal code and my region is state, and then let's see, so I'm going to create an output data set right here, I'm going to add a 5 onto it, and then I'll click run. Wait for it for a minute. Takes a minute. All right, and then the error warning is that, uh, you know, no country specified. I'm using, it assumes the US, and there we go. All right. All right, so the output table, I'm going to go here to my databases and look at one of the output tables. Excuse me, not going to do that. Drag it over here. Take a look at it. If you notice, it adds a place key. And place key was smart enough to figure out that Athleta at 50 South Main Street in Salt Lake City at the same zip code, Michael Kors and Apple, were all different places. So I had ZZW-224-225-226. And right, the amazing thing about place key is this stays fixed. So that location, I'll be able to look at different stores at the same location. Like say I'm trying to figure out whether a McDonald's store did better than a Wendy's store uh, at the same location. Uh, with place key, I'd be able to do that, matching the place key with raw visit counts from SafeGraph data. Um, yeah, I, I can match that place key with address and latitude, longitude information. Uh, and again, so I, I think it's an amazing thing about place key, this uh, place key identifier that's fixed and... Uh, it makes it great for doing economics or business research, and uh, you know it's easy to use. So that's the place key uh, toolbox add-in for ArcGIS Pro. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to uh, the SafeGraph community or the place key community, and we're more than happy to help out.